Alien species are taking over. Now this isn't exactly what you might think though. Our local forests and parks are changing and it's happening fast enough that a walk through the woods could look completely different for your kids than it did for you. Local 12's Josh Knight went for a hike with experts to see what's going on. This English ivy and this stuff is, will take over. Uh, so all these native plants are at, at risk. Experts say our local forests evolved over millions of years to support and control hundreds of different types of plants and animals. So anybody who enjoys being out in nature and enjoys seeing the flowers and the trees and the, the wildlife needs to be concerned about protecting the native plants. Dennis Conover teaches biology at UC. He's seen what invasive plants like the winter creeper do through the years. As you can see, it's covering almost every square inch of the ground. They take over and essentially choke out other plants. Plants like this are originally planted in people's gardens, but birds eat the berries and drop the seeds somewhere else. In a matter of decades, you might only see a few different types of plants. Where before you had, you know, several hundred species of native wildflowers, trees, and shrubs, plus all the animals that depend on those plants. And here is the Amer honeysuckle public enemy number one. But there is good news. In the Western Wildlife Corridor, they're proving it's not too late. The, uh, the honeysuckle used to be everywhere, right where we're standing. As far as you can see, this was really thick honeysuckle bushes. Tim Sisson and volunteers cut back the invasive shrubs, treated the stumps, and hoped the native plants could bounce back. And they really did. He says springtime is beautiful. Uh, then it's truly spectacular. We literally have a carpet of wildflowers all up through here. Sisson says they're proof people can help. We're doing it, you know. You can, you can beat back the invasive alien plants and have a nice nature preserve. Josh Knight, Local 12 News. I love honeysuckle. It smells so good. Dr. Conover says you can help right now by using native plants in your own garden. And if you'd like to find examples or you just want to get involved in a more hands-on way, just go to local12.com, click on that red Get It button.